So what I thought I'd do is add some bits into it. Some really sweet plastic balls as bubbles, I thought. So got my UV resin out. And yes, I put gloves on, got distracted. And now I'm trying to open the lid when there's no lid on it. I do wonder about myself sometimes. Welcome back to my channel, it's Wendy here from Team Pish Crafts and I hope you're doing okay. Today I'm playing around with Rainbow Alcohol Ink. Now I'd never heard of Rainbow Alcohol Ink. This is from a company called Marabou, I believe. But I bought it from Yvonne at Resin Supplies Den. If you're in the UK, Resin Supplies Den is a Facebook group and they have lots of people that sell everything to do with resin, so go check them out. They're really friendly too. Anyway, rainbow, rainbow, alcohol ink. Now I did search, I'd never heard of it. So I did search the YouTube, the YouTube. <laughs> I did search YouTube to see if anybody would use it. And I found one video of a guy that was painting it onto plastic and to metal. He'd never put it in resin, although he didn't mention it in resin. So, but he hadn't used it in resin. So I thought I'm gonna have to try this. I wanna know how it comes out. Now I did have two bottles to start with and I've only got half of one of them left because I've been using, the, <laughs> using it like mad. But let's see how I got on with Rainbow Alcohol Ink. So as you can see, I really love Druzes. I have quite a few of them. I've bought most of them from Art for Start and her link will be in the description box below. This alcohol ink looks a little weird. It's quite bizarre stuff. Now what I thought I'd do was completely cover this particular druzy in the alcohol ink and give it a couple of layers. I think I gave it three layers in total and let it completely dry. Now I didn't actually know if the resin then would pick it up, but it was worth a gamble. The bottles look kind of cloudy white. You can't see much colour in there, but all the colour sinks to the bottom. So it's a good idea to shake the bottle every now and then and very well at the beginning. I'm going to put the now dry druzy into this small round resin mould. Now it is a tight fit. I'll give you that. It is a very tight fit, literally pretty much the same size. So I'm using the silicon oil not only to give a barrier for the resin not to stick to it, it'll also slip the druzy into the mould better so I can get rid of the air that is trapped underneath. So I'm kind of burping the druzy here like you would with a Tupperware lid. I don't know if you remember those. I don't know if they still make those. But you used to have to burp them to keep them fresher for longer. Now this mould is one I haven't used before and I've got all these little druzy pieces and I'm going to put them into this mould. I'm kind of just playing around with it but I'm going to cover them all in the alcohol ink obviously. This time I'm not going to let them completely dry, only slightly dry before I put them in. So I did get my hands covered in this stuff which isn't nice really, I should have gloves on. But I'm covering all of them just in one coat of the alcohol ink and then I'm going to place them into this mould. And this mould is going to be layered. I'm going to be doing several things with it. I want to try out this alcohol ink in several different ways. Now I have noticed straight away that the alcohol ink doesn't like silicone. Now I suppose that's the same with all alcohol. I just not tried all alcohol. And I've never tried painting alcohol ink onto moulds of any kind. So I didn't know that, but now I do. It does make perfect sense after all. So I'm pouring a little bit, let's just call it rainbow, shall we? Because alcohol ink is a mouthful. So I'm pouring some of the rainbow into the mould and I want to see what it does. Now to start with, it kind of gives all these little dots, which I actually really, really like, but it doesn't stay that way, unfortunately. It does move. I'm going to be using Let's Resin Epoxy Resin for this one. If you haven't seen my recent video on Resin Game Changer, I'll link it in the top right hand corner. It might answer some questions about Let's Resin for you. 
So I've done two Druzy molds, one that you saw me make and another one with a denser pattern and I've put it into a petri dish mold and I'm topping them both up with just clear resin. Now the heart I've decided to put some colour in so I've not topped it up that much I've just covered the druzes with clear resin and I'm using the Let's Resin Alcohol ink in magenta and purple just to add some colour. I'm afraid you know me with pink and purple it's always going to be my choice isn't it? I don't even think about it it just happens. So I wanted a little bit of wispiness in this and it was just sitting there so I decided to make the wispiness myself with a little stick. It would have moved while curing but I decided to give it a helping hand. So 24 hours later and it's time to demold the round druzes that I put in the petri dish and the little round mould. Now this is just clear resin. As you can see there was a piece on the back which wasn't a problem and it just lifted out because of the silicon oil that I put underneath there. And I thought I'd give you the sound effects for this as well. It's the best bit don't you think? Now I was worried that the alcohol ink would stain the druzy but there's nothing it's completely clear. And this was a little bit underwhelming. I could hardly see any colour. It didn't have three coats mind you, it just had one. It did have a nice ring around it though so I could actually pour something in the back of it including some more rainbow ink. So that's what I decided to do. So not forgetting to shake the bottle I poured rainbow ink droplets in the back of the resin. Now this is resin it's not silicone and the alcohol ink did stay nicely on the top it wasn't repelled and it sat beautifully and I let it dry. Once it was dry I decided to fill it with black. So I used Vista Resin Black Pigment which is a solid liquid pigment gives a beautiful black colour and I filled the back with black. You may wonder why, check out the link in the top right hand corner. Time to demold the other one. So this is the one that's had three layers of rainbow ink and it has larger pieces in the druzy mould. And I really like how this came out. There's obviously a lot of clean up to do on it but I love the effect I love the window pane frostiness type thing and both sides are absolutely gorgeous in my opinion I love it the heart piece needs another layer of course it's not finished yet so what I thought I'd do is add some bits into it some really sweet plastic balls as bubbles I thought so got my UV resin out and yes I put gloves on got distracted and now I'm trying to open the lid when there's no lid on it. I do wonder about myself sometimes. Anyway the UV resin makes a great glue and these balls float in resin and I don't want them to float above the next layer so I'm going to stick them to that layer with UV resin just to make them look like bubbles in water I thought. I know water isn't purple and pink but you know artistic license and all that it's allowed. This piece is going to a friend of mine who used to rescue turtles and when I was making it I thought should I put a photo in it? No everybody puts photos in these things let's do something a little different. So I came up with this idea. I'm going to pour some clear resin over the top of the now stable plastic balls and I've printed out a picture of a turtle and laminated it. And I'm just going to pop that in there. So we've got a turtle floating through the ocean. Okay so the ocean is pink and purple but you know why can't it be a fantasy turtle land? few shells at the bottom just to finish it off 
and the little metal starfish makes it complete. That was a cheap bracelet charm which I detached the ring from. And to stop it all, I'm now going to put the rainbow ink on top to see how it fares if you drop it into resin. Makes some pretty, pretty colours. Dancing around on the surface of this resin like you wouldn't believe, the sparkle is unbelievable. If you could only see what I could see here, the video does not do it justice. So 24 hours later and it's time to demold this. I've been waiting to mold the bottom part for a few days. You get a little bit of overspill and it's going to be tidied up. It's going to have to be tidied up on the edges because they're quite sharp. But that's not the end of the world. Taking out the heart. Comes out of the mold like a dream and the heart druzy. It's just one I cut from a larger piece. And it's all done. I really, really love how it came out. From the video, it looks like it's full of bubbles. There isn't one bubble, air bubble in there at all. There's ones I put in there, and yes, two of them to stick out the front. And I think that's a great thing to have. I just think it gives it more 3D. I've sanded off the edge and I think that sanded edge actually gives it a nice little frame. The one with the black on the back has changed the colour of it completely and I think it is now absolutely stunning. It just looks amazing. Completely changed the colour of this rainbow resin and I love it. And of course you've got the clear one that I did originally as well, but I never changed at all, I just left as it was. Now I have tried this alcohol ink in ink drops, but I didn't want to make this another half an hour video, so I might put that up on Instagram. But it does work, it does fall through. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you an insight into the rainbow ink. Come back and see me next week because you never know what I'm going to be up to. Have a great week, happy crafting and bye for now.